All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be going over Lewis dot structures again using an N chart. We'll cover molecular geometry, orbital geometry, hybridization, axis notation. Don't forget to uh, check us out on on uh, YouTube, username what will high, or at www.whatwillhigh.com. Now, before we can get started drawing these Lewis dot structures, you're going to need a couple of handouts. Those handouts are available on my website. The first handout that you're going to need is a periodic table that you see here, or you can use the one in your book or the one that you may have in your possession. Uh, the other uh, handout that you're going to need is this handout right here. This is handout 6A in Unit 3 on my website at www.wittlehigh.com. My name is Johnny Cantrell, so just click on my name and you go to the chemistry page, Unit 3, handout 6A. So, uh, but you will need this handout to help you answer the uh, questions about the Lewis dot structure. Now, we now need to work our first problem of uh, the evening. So we need to look at the uh, camera for that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, draw the compound I elf 4 well, let's make it interesting. Let's do an ion. I elf 4 negative 1. Now, we need to draw this. The first thing I would do is I would write the N chart. E. E stands for element. A stands for available electrons, which we know as valence electrons, and for need. Now, in the other videos, you've seen that uh, on the elements, we just list the individual elements, which we have I. And we also have four elves. And when we run into a charge, uh, down here we will write the word charge. Now to get the valence electrons, which is the A values, what we will need to do is we will need to look at the periodic table. If you notice, um, on the periodic table, iodine, if you follow my mouse, is in column 17 and so is elf. So if, since it's in column 17 it makes it a halogen but it also tells us that it has seven valence electrons. So let's go back and look at the video. That means that we should put seven in all these boxes. Now just because it's in column 17. Now when we have a negative one charge here that means that we have picked up an additional electron, one extra. So you will write the opposite of that charge here. Now, on the need amount, put X. Now, if you need more, uh, if you if you know which if you if you need to know which numbers you need to put, you need to you need to put either a two or an eight. In this case, we will always put eight. Let me explain why. If it's past the first five elements, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, or boron, just use eight. But if it falls and with those, within those first five, if it's either hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, or boron, you will need two. So, anyway, after this, we need to add these up. We need to add up all these A's. That's one, two, three, four, five. Thirty-five plus one is thirty-six. On the need amount, uh, that will give us, um, what does that give us? One, two, three, four, five. Well, five times uh, eight is forty. Okay, now we need to subtract these two numbers. So that would give us the number of shared electrons. So 40 minus 36 is 4. Now when we do that, that gives us a total of just two bonds because half of 4 is 2. So that's two bonds. Now the non-bonding electrons is how many? Well, to get the non-bonding electrons, remember, it's A minus S. So that's 32. Now, you're probably like me right now. You're probably always saying that we have a problem. <laughs> if you notice, we only calculated that we had two bonds. We need at least four bonds to get things attached. So we have I, which is the central atom, because it's the uh, most electronegative plus it's the only one we've got. But we got to attach four F somehow. Okay, so I'll put those four down just like that but I need to attach them, but I've only got two bonds. So I need a third bond just to attach this. OK, 
okay now when I do that when I change that two to three I gotta come down here and change this to 30 because now I got 30 dots to use but I still have this one elf that's still floating around so I need to make another bond so when I do that I change three to a four okay I did that but I gotta change 30 to guess what 28 because remember it takes two electrons to make one bond now I've drawn my structure I'm done however since it's got a negative one charge I need to put it in brackets and I need to throw down a negative one sign. Now, to answer the other questions about the Lewis dot structure, uh, what's its molecular geometry? Uh, what is its orbital geometry? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, tell me if it's polar. Uh, oh, that's an A. Polar or nonpolar? Uh, what's another one? Oh, yeah, the hybridization and the axe notation. Let's say you want to know these questions. Well, what you'll need to do is you will need to look at that chart, that handout 6 8 that I was telling you about. Notice here that you've got four bonds, okay? but notice that I forgot to put the dots on the else. I've got 28 dots to put. Well that would have been a big mistake not put my dots. Now I'm making sure to give everything an octet. Okay, first thing you make sure that they have octets is the substituents, the things that are attached to the central atom. Notice I did that, but when I do that that's 6, 6, 6, and 6. See? Two, four, six. That's six dots. 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 But they all have eight because these bonds count as twos. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. And two, four, six, eight. But that is only 24 electrons that I've used. I've got four more to use. Where am I going to use them at? Well, I won't put them on the central atom. I usually just start them off uh, in the basically 45 degree marks and just fit them in. Now I've used two of the four. I want to use the other two. There. Now I'm done. <laughs> now if you look at this, I have used four bonds and I've got two sets of lone pairs. So what I want to do is I want to look on that sheet, hand out 6A, for four, uh, four bonds and two lone pairs. So a 4-2. Now when we look at this sheet that has 4-2, Notice that the only place that we have 4, 2 is right here. And that answers all of our questions. Because see, notice that this is the orbital geometry and this is molecular geometry. So we now know that the orbital geometry is octahedral. So here I would write uh, octahedral. Molecular geometry, go back and look it up. Uh, it is out for a 4 2 square planar. So you'll write square planar. If it's polar or nonpolar, well, 4 2 tells us since it's grayed here, it's nonpolar. So on our sheet, we'll write nonpolar. Okay, you see that? I did that on the sheet. The hybridization, of course, uh, is also here for you. Uh, it's sp3d2. So you just write that down. Now remember, your college professors will want you to memorize this, but I've got it written here. Now, but if you're a high school uh, student, uh, you might not have to memorize it. Your teacher will let you use your worksheet. Now, as far as the X notation, um, it's also on here, A, uh, AX4E2. So that's all you got to write, AX4E2, and we've answered all their questions. Now, watch the video over and over, and I hope it helps.